I'm filming it, DJ. It's going on YouTube. Great. I'm not gonna be Instagram famous, but okay. It's got to be like a hundred pounds. Pull, pulling it out the left. What yeah, way? Or pull to your right. Pull to your right. Just a little tip was poking up, and the lawnmower kept going over it with the blade. It's like the Titanic. The whole, you know, just a little bit shows, and it's all underneath. Yep. It's what's heavy. You, what's he doing? I don't know, but we're 34 seconds in, DJ. Get your hand underneath and pull it. Crossfit. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just kind of angle it then. Let's uh, make it go kind of horizontal like that. Yeah. Okay, that was, all right. All right. So got a brief moment of non-moisture coming down today so I decided to try and wrap these trees in painter's tape and then do this uh, tangle foot stuff to uh, try and prevent all the bugs and the damage on the fruit this year. Not that I have a huge amount of fruit since they're still young. This is a new Asian pear that we got this year so I've got that one banded up. This is probably the one I'll notice the most difference. You can see already it's a uh, cherry tree and the ants are already going after it so you can see uh, the barrier that I did and the ones that uh, are below and the ones got stuck up on top trying to figure out what to do so I'm hopeful that will help with the cherries and the damage they definitely don't want to uh, touch it My big egg layers. Hmm? I don't know, this guy was just standing by himself. Maybe he's depressed. Look at his, um, look at his, uh, top though, they're not as red as they used to be. Oh, his comb? Yeah. His waddle? Yeah. See, it's all getting kind of pale color. The bottom one? The top, too. Oh. Well. Hey, everyone. Leslie with Cooper Specific Northwest Homestead. Uh, it is June something. I think it's the Father's Day weekend. Uh, we got a holiday weekend with June 19th, Juneteenth on Monday. I uh, haven't done an update in a while, and so I was going to walk everyone through and kind of document why I have not done an update because our weather has been lame, so not a lot is happening. So I'll show everyone, but before I do, I just have to show you this egg that I collected from the chickens. I think it is the largest egg I have gotten from one of these chickens. It is literally the size of a baseball. It is uh, pretty massive. I'm surprised I didn't hear the chicken screaming bloody murder with this one. That is the largest egg I think I've ever seen compared to the normal egg. This monster size here, it's like a goose egg. All right, here goes the gardens. Again, mid-June, I've got some berries up here, getting an area in the garden ready for those. We got like, uh, I think honey berries, some different blackberries, things like that. Um, Nothing's really taking off. I've got like Swiss chard that was overwintered. Got the fig tree starting to come out. That's some Napa cabbage that doesn't look too bad. A little mini peach tree with little peaches. So that's exciting. My lemon tree. It is pretty chilly. Um, I think it's only like low 60s. The raised garden beds up here, nothing much going on. I kind of just plop little odds and ends in there. So we've got like the green onions from the store that I stuck in there and then they regrow. Uh, just some extra eggplant. But you can see mid-June, nothing's really um, taking off or bolting or looking really fantastic because we just haven't had the sun or the warmth. So it's been kind of depressing. So that's kind of the front area here and then I'll take you to the other garden that we've been working on. All right, so starting up front here, I think last time I showed this area, I talked about wanting to do a little seating kind of patio area. So I think I had cardboard laid down to kill the grass. 
putting a little bit of weed cover. We're waiting for a friend to get back to us about some crushed gravel. So that's ready to go. Um, did get a chair here. And then these are the front beds. And this is the one that I've reseated probably two or three times. It's still not looking super great. I've got like different stages of beans. I think I, uh, dealing with slugs. So you can see the damage that they've done on the leaves. So I've put a lot of the kind of that Cory's sluggo type stuff. And then I also saw pine cones lining it with pine cones because they can't crawl over it. Um, but it's definitely just uh, not doing so hot. And again, I think it's a combination of the weather and pests this year. Same thing with this bed. I've got carrots. I planted like radishes and I think some beets in here a long time ago. And uh, they're supposed to be cooler weather crops, but they just are not happy with our lack of sun and so much rain. Uh, didn't really put much in here. I've got kale from last year. I plopped in a couple extras. I don't know what they are. They might be a zucchini, but everything is super tiny, but yet they're flowering. Um, so I don't know what that's, what's gonna happen with that. And then over here is where we did the big trellis and had the dirt brought in. Um, and so I plopped in a lot of things with the hope of, you know, having all the trailing things and beans over this guy. But again, everything is languishing and it's just really sad. <laughs> I've got snapdragons and peppers. Uh, this is corn that isn't too bad, but I started it uh, from seed kind of inside. So it got a jump start. And then I've got some, some bush beans that aren't looking too bad. Um, again, you could see like the zucchini or whatever they are, they're starting to flower, but they don't have much in terms of leaves and trailing. Kind of strange. Eggplant really didn't take off and it also got some, some bug damage. So we've got some leaf damage there. We've got some tomatillos, which are flowering. Max, come on, out of there. That one's a good size because I also started it close to the house and gave it some extra time. Um, the one thing that is doing good is the potatoes, which it's one of those funny things, right? It's probably more economical to just buy those at the store, but they're always super fun to dig. So I've got potatoes there. I think a different variety here because obviously it's more massive. So those are doing really well. So I'm going to be saved by the potatoes this year. This is the corn that I started from seed in the ground and it's not as awesome looking as the ones that I started closer to the house. And then I think there's some that are kind of patchy and didn't sprout. So I'm gonna have to redo that in some areas. This is a section that we're killing the grass and getting ready for, um, I think all the berries. So I think I'm gonna do grapes and all the berries in this section. Yeah, I've got like pumpkins, which should be massive and kind of take over this whole area, but I don't know, they're languishing. I think next week the temperatures pick up to maybe um, low 70s. So hopefully that gets them to grow a little bit more. Some pole beans, which don't look too bad. But yeah, these guys right here, I've got flowers going on already. These ones got a little bit of the yellowing leaves, but let's see. Beans, which looks like something got to the sky. Doesn't look so great. I don't think he's gonna make it. Have to redo that one. And I think this guy, I think this is okra that I just put in, so. So that is why I haven't really done much of an update the last couple of months because our weather has been sad and depressing. <laughs> we do have the, the grass is looking really fantastic. We need to get it hayed soon, but of course for that, you uh, have to have some dry weather so it can uh, not rot once it's uh, cut. So we got that front section and this whole field that will be hayed. Anyways, that's my update for mid-June. <laughs> Max, I don't want to see your butt. Come 
on, let's go follow the path that Corey made. Come on, Miley, follow the path. Max, that's not the path. I know, you're looking for bunnies or something, aren't you? What are you looking for? 